In this demonstration we're going to look at implementing infrastructure updates. So first thing we need to do is we need to integrate our WSUS server and our virtual machine manager. Once we've done that we'll create an update baseline. The whole purpose of all of this is we've now got lots of virtual machines, lots of Hyper-V hosts and various other servers which are used for our virtualization environment. One of the things we'd like to do is ensure that software updates are delivered efficiently. So what we'll do here is just in VMM we're just going to come to infrastructure expand this up a little bit and um, what we're going to do here is as you can see we can add various different types of servers the one I need to add here is an update server so what we'll do here is we'll click update server and what we're going to do now right click and add an update server so we'll fill out the little table so our server is called lon-wsus we'll just stick in our port number that we require here so we'll stick that in it's 8530 and then what we'll do here is we'll use a datum backslash administrator specify the password I'm not going to use SSL to communicate with the server but that would ideally be what I'd want to do give me a bit more security and then we'll select our add button right, so as you can see here what it's going to do now it's going to start running this little job now that's going to take a little while for that to complete so what we'll do at this point here we'll just pause the video and return back once it's added the update server Right, it's now completed and the reason why we're getting this complete with info is I don't actually have any internet connectivity within this virtualized environment so that's why I'm getting this little uh, warning here so we'll just close this down now if we have a look here though we can see that our server is indeed responding so that's up and running so everything's happening here we can do a manual synchronization as well with the update server not going to bother like I said don't have an internet connectivity so I'll just get a warning it'll pop up now that we've actually added our update server to our virtual machine manager the next thing we need to do here is create some baselines and the baselines are the collection of patches that we're going to assign to our various devices within our virtualized environment so in order to do that we just come down to our library workspace and within our library workspace we have our update catalogs and baselines so what we're going to do here we're just going to right click on this and we're going to create a new baseline then what we're going to do here is I'm just going to call this one lon and then base1 not going to bother with the description select my next button and now what we need to do is we need to add some updates so we'll select our add button and all we'll do here is we'll highlight all of the updates from our update server and select our add button and as you can see we've now added the updates so now we'll select next and now we need to decide what to associate this with so what we'll do here is we'll go for all hosts, we'll go for our VMM server and our library servers and we might as well select our WSUS server as well. So we've selected everything that we have running and select next, then on our summary page we'll select finish. So that's now going to go away and create my baseline. So as we can see the job's now running through so what we'll do at this point here this is just going to take a little while so what we'll do at this point here is just pause the video and return back once the job is complete so the job's now complete so let's just close down the job window then if we just come to our fabric workspace at this point here and then what we'll do is we'll just select our servers node up at the top here there we go there's our servers node and the next thing we'll do here is we'll just click compliance and as we can see here it's doing the compliancy check then what we'll do here is we'll go for lon wsus and what we'll do at this point here is we'll just click scan and so this is now going to go in and do a scan hopefully everything's going to come back as compliant but if not then we'll just remediate And as we can see here, we are indeed compliant. And that's the end of this demonstration of implementing infrastructure updates through WSUS integrated in with VMM. Thank you.